Hey, what's up guys? This is the uh, new F-22 I just got done building. Plus I got a pretty cool tip I wanted to share with everybody. So, uh, anyway, this is the uh, the new one here. Um, had to make this one up because my old one uh, crashed on me. Um, the wing folded up on me. Uh, I'm doing a high speed turn, lost control, and uh, went down. So uh, this was a pretty old plane anyway, so I uh, just threw that big turning G motor on here to give it a test run, see if it would even work on a little foamy plane, and it did. So, uh, Kind of got a couple flights out of it. This was definitely one of the fastest and craziest things I've ever done. Very, very fun. Um, so took all the electronics out of this one and threw it in a new one. A um, couple modifications I did to the new one was I um, made the wings a lot wider on this one. This one has a 30-inch wingspan. Um, I believe the uh, older one had the 23-and-a-half, uh, 24-inch wingspan. Um, so these wings are a lot wider. Um, Bevel deleting edges on this one. I didn't do it on the last one. The last one just had the uh, square, square cuts. Uh, this one has the beveled edge. Um, made it so this front end uh, accepts the battery a little better. So I made everything a little wider so I can fit that five cell. I really, really had to jam a five cell on this one. Um, this one, I mean, it still fits tight in there, but at least I can get it in and out without fighting. Um, stayed with the big elevators. Um, it worked out pretty good on the original, so uh, kept it the same on this one. Um, and of course, I have that humongous turn G motor on this one. Uh, what else did I do? Let's take a look at the bottom. Um, there's the bottom paint job here, tape job. Um, on the first maiden flight, I didn't have this piece of foam in the back. And I uh, really didn't have much control, so I'm going to show you a video of that first flight, maiden flight. First toss, guys. Nice and bounce up. Followed all the uh, measurements from the last one, so let's trim this thing up a little bit. Whoa, something's up with this. Uh, Elevators and shit. All right, signs up with the uh, elevators at high speed. Where the servos when I go high speed. Yeah, it seems like I don't got uh, controls when I do high speed. Like it just... <sighs> Man, that sucks. Now you can see in that first flight, it, it flew pretty good. Um, the wings being wider, it actually became a very good uh, glider. This thing glided around pretty nicely. Uh, flew nice at uh, low speeds. Um, had full control. Uh, I didn't see no difference uh, during slow speeds or, or moderate speeds. But as soon as I went high speed, I lost complete control. Um, I just went straight down um, and turned to the left. Um, had no clue what was going on. Um, gave it full throttle when I was holding it in my hands and all the controls were moving. So uh, it wasn't it wasn't interference or anything like that during high speeds. Um, so I had no clue what was going on. Um, came home, gave it a look over. Um, I know on the last plane I had added a piece here in the back, uh, which I didn't add on this plane. I don't even think the original plans called for it, but uh, I did add it to the uh, to the blue one for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, but um, I added it on this one um, for the second flight. To see if it made any difference and uh, 
put that on there and I'll show you a video of the second flight. So I added this piece on the bottom, which was the only other part missing from the last plane. <laughs> You know what's weird guys? I think that fixed it. Let me get my shades on. It's freaking bright out. And then wings being uh, much wider made it a much better glider. Oh! Fence! <laughs> Give it another throw here. I have to get my shades on. Yeah, that did fix it. That's weird. This thing's a big time glider now that I uh, got much wider wings. This thing can glide. Rolls pretty good, nice and smooth. I just think glide so nice. Speed run. You know what? It didn't fix the problem 100%, but it's a heck of a lot better than yesterday. That thing is up there.
Dead battery. Coming in hot. Well, there it is, guys. The new modified F-22. So, as you can see, during that second flight, uh, I was able to get a little bit more controls out of it just by adding this one little piece of foam here. Um, I'm not saying I got 100% of my controls back, but I went from having nothing at all to about 50% uh, of my controls. So, uh, that worked out pretty good for me. I'm pretty sure if I cut... Um, Elevons on the wings um, with some separate servos. I'll be able to get a lot more controls out of it and probably get back to where I want it to be. Um, but I'm gonna fly like this a couple more times before I do anything else to it. But uh, now to the tip I wanted to share with everybody. I knew that when I was making this plane, the wings were going to be a lot wider, so somehow, some way, I had to reinforce them. Um, if not, I'll run into the same situation as the original one uh, with the wings creasing up on me and folding in half. So, um, I've always been looking online for alternatives to carbon fiber. Uh, nobody really, um, I really never seen no videos of any alternative besides uh, a lot of people were using uh, bamboo skewers. Um, to be honest, this stuff I believe is probably as strong as a foam board is to begin with. Um, it might add a little bit of strength, but uh, <clears throat> I really don't see no purpose in that. Like it's, it's just, I thought it was a waste of time. Um, so doing uh, shopping for the tape to tape this plane up, I uh, came across these uh, knitting needles. These uh, come in various sizes actually, these are 3 mil. Um, so it's this, this is what you will want to use for the quarter inch foam board. But if you're using um, EPP or, or blue, that blue foam, uh, dowel foam, um, they come in larger sizes so that's going to work for you too. But uh, these things are made out of aluminum. Uh, very 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 strong very light have a little bit of flexibility to them so if your wings do f start to flex a little bit it's it's going to move with the wings it's not going to rip the uh, rip through the paper or through the tape um, yeah extremely light it comes with this little knob on top but that screws right off so uh, I think this is the ultimate alternative to carbon fiber um, you can buy these things basically anywhere uh, I bought these at a dollar store so you get two pieces for a buck um, pretty good alternative to carbon fiber I think um, I got three pieces on this plane I got one running across the back here and then flip it over so you can see the other two I just ran them down the center of the wings um, from tip all the way to the inside where the uh, where the uh, piece of wood is for the motor mount so it sits on that and uh, during the flights I was keeping an eye on the wings and they are, they're keeping pretty steady so this is a pretty good alternative to carbon fiber. Uh, I think it's just a pretty awesome tip for these guys. Um, very, very inexpensive. So uh, go ahead and start reinforcing your planes with some uh, lightweight aluminum. Um, this stuff weighs absolutely nothing. I mean, there's, there's no weight to it at all. So you don't got to worry about um, worry about adding a bunch of weight to your plane. Um, that's I think that's one of the main reasons people use carbon fiber. It's that it's light and it's strong. Um, I think this has the same exact principles, so uh, except for uh, they're they're a heck of a lot cheaper. Uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, cool little tip. Start reinforcing your wings and your planes, uh, so they don't bend up and crash on you. All right, guys. So uh, stay tuned.